I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is more U.S. map regions. I'm going to write that down here. U.S. map regions. And today we will be doing the Midwest. And very important, let's just draw that compass rose so you know where you are and where you're going. Two straight lines, baby triangle, 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 north, south, east, and west. Okay, now when we draw a map free form like we're doing today, just loosen up and follow along. So we're going to come all the way over. Let's put two fingers and put a dot. And the first thing we're going to do is draw a straight line down, slightly curved line over, wavy line up, straight line across, connect. Come down a little bit over here on the left. We're going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, wavy line down, wavy line up, and connect. Come right down below that, we're just going to draw a little straight line down, straight line in, straight line down, straight line over, and a wavy line up, and connect. Right where we stopped here at this point, straight line down, slightly straight line over, little curve line up, wavy line, and connect. Come back up to the top. We're going to draw a straight line out, curve line up, curve line down, curve line down, down, big curve line out, down, little curve line, curve line out, 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 and leave it floating because we're going to come in and right even with this one, we're just going to draw straight line over, connect. Now we come back down and we're going to draw little straight line, wavy line or curve line up, curve line up, up and connect. Right where we did connect, now we're going to draw slightly curved line over, wavy line up, straight diagonal out, straight diagonal in, curve line, curve line, curve line, little straight line out, straight line in, connect. Hooked onto that part right about here. We're going to draw a curve line out, little curve line in, little curve line out, little straight line up, curve line, little curve line in, little curve line out, straight diagonal out, in, connect. Once we've got that there, we come all the way down here and we're just going to draw a little straight line down, straight line over, little curve line in, down, little curve line, up, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Now, come over here, we're going to draw a little curve line down, in, down, up, keep going, and connect. Come back down to this side, wavy line down, over, up, connect, right next to it, slightly straight diagonal down, straight line down, wavy, wavy line down, up, connect, come over here, and we're just going to draw a curve line up, 
out, in, out, in, connect, and right here, we're just going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, down, big curve line up, down, wavy line out, in, out, in, up, connect. Boy, that's a lot. All right, now, label it. Triangle, straight line going north, Canada. Straight line, triangle going west, the Rocky Mountain states, or region, Rocky Mountain. Going straight line south, triangle, southwest. Going diagonal, straight line, triangle, diagonal, straight line, triangle is the southeast. Come up, if we go east, this becomes the northeast. And this space, I'm just going to draw a line and a triangle is part of the Great Lakes. That's a big body of water. You've got to put that in. Now, this is North Dakota. This is South Dakota. This is Nebraska. This is Kansas. Minnesota. Iowa. Missouri. Illinois. Indiana. Wisconsin. That's our Great Lake. Michigan and Ohio. Woo! It's a lot. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color in is my Great Lake. So I'm just taking my blue-green and I'm coloring the space in. And that is so I don't forget. Next, take your red. Color in all of these red triangle arrows because the Midwest, as you can tell, is surrounded by almost all the other areas plus Canada, another country. So your arrows are very, very important and by now you should know how to use pretty easily your compass rows. Now, the further east we keep going, there's more states. So I think on this one, there's 4, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there's 12 states in the Midwest region. So I'm taking my yellow-green and I'm just loop-de-looping lightly because you got so much information here. I'm lightly going over what we just drew. Okay? So it's like as you go further east, you get more states and uh, more density. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Whoops. Always forgetting something. This is the Great Lakes. One of them. Okay. Okay, here is the U.S. map region of the Midwest. Look where Ohio is, and in colonial times, that was considered the frontier. Very interesting. Okay, bye-bye.